One question is about moving this to the team level. So both of you have worked not just with individuals, but also with teams. And so we could start with ourselves, but then the question is how do we then spread this, um, navigate conflicts that then turn up on teams and manage this at the team level? I, have a, I want to start with a pin and then I'll let Jen mop, mop up with sort of the final decision on this one. Um, one of the issues around teams, the starting point, I believe, is that we have to decide that we're going to do more than information share. Yeah. If we're just there to trade information, keep each other informed, we will never do the work it takes as a team to be able to work through a conflict or a disagreement and get to a good place. But if as a team, you feel like you own collectively an ultimate outcome, and I mean that, own it collectively, not individual doing parts, but own it collectively, then the only way you're ever going to get there is to actually work your way through the tensions and disagreements and debates and et cetera, to get that kind of genuine, honest commitment to action. And you have no choice. And then when you're starting to do that, we're now then into the kind of stuff that Jen has been talking about, and it has to do with how we have these conversations, how we understand what each other are bringing to the table, how we understand the conflict mapping that's affecting everybody. And at that, I'll let Jen jump in and give her own view on this one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so um, the conflict habits and patterns that we were talking about before are totally applicable, not only at the individual level, but also at the team level. So you can diagnose what, it, what are the habits, like we started touching on this before, what are the habit, what habit does our team typically use? Is our team typically, are people on the team typically blaming each other? Are people on the team typically avoiding others? Are they typically relentlessly collaborating. Um, and just knowing that can be helpful. You can also think about it not only internal to one team, how, how do people on the team typically treat each other, but also how does our team interact with another team inside of our organization? How does our team interact with clients, customers, vendors, anyone else outside the organization? Um, again, this can be incredibly eye-opening. 